Yeah, this is our Asian short clawed otter group and uh, we have nine females in this in exhibit. What we were doing today was to try and uh, weigh each individual. Um, weighing animals in the zoo is really important. It helps us to um, keep an eye on their general health. What you're seeing today with the weighing is we're using target training. So we're using a stimulus, which is the ball on the end of the stick. The otter recognises that as meaning that there's going to be food available. Um, the behaviour that we want him to do is to touch it for a few seconds before he gets the mouse, which is his favourite food, um, because then we're able to get an accurate weight. But the thing is with otters, they are incredibly intelligent and each one has its own completely individual personality. So we're starting to recognise more and more each individual. We're seeing um, animals that uh, learn far quicker than other ones, perhaps because they feel more confident um, around people. They're really good fun um, and incredibly smart, so it's, uh, it's a joy to train them. Uh, sometimes they're almost one step ahead of you um, because they're so clever. A part of the Otter's Behaviour Programme is, um, is a lot of enrichment. Um, enrichment's really crucial for um, zoo animals. It helps um, with their well-being um, and encourages natural behaviours, which is incredibly important in the zoo environment. Um, so um, Tegan and the rest of the guys that look after the otters over here, um, they spend a lot of time thinking up new and interesting ways to, for example, present food. It's not just a good enough to throw food to an animal, we want to put it all around the enclosure and ask the animals to, to use their, their intelligence and their physical capacity in order to find their food. Um, it's a really big part of, uh, of the otter programme, but also um, animal programmes all around ZSL.